Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here and today I want to talk about something pretty exciting and that is how do we use KitOps inserts on smooth surfaces, especially in a way that does not get rendering artifacts. So let's get started. Here's our cube. I'm going to tab into this. I'm going to go into edge mode, select that and I'm going to jack the bevel weight up to one. Tab back out. We'll go into now the modifiers. I'm going to add a bevel modifier. I'm going to go into set it to weight, make it kind of large. Let's give it about six segments which isn't a whole lot as you can see it's not a lot but uh, th that should give us a kind of a worst case example so now that we're out of it let's keep it selected and we'll go into kit ops and we're going to go into the simple simple cutters and let's choose this one this MX notch and we'll stick it right here I'm gonna go into the Y hit 0 hit S for scale let's move it down a little bit and let's see that we're, yeah, let's move it down just a little bit more because I don't want to sit in directly on a line scale. Yeah, let's move it down, something like that. So there we are, we're good. So, so there we have it. So now we have this cube. So let's take this cube and let's shift D, duplicate it. Right click to let it go. Now it's in the same place. And then M to move it, we're gonna move it to the third. So now that we're on the third, let's go over to the third one. Let's look at it. Uh, let's, let's basically go back into the modifiers for it. And I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna remove this modifier so this is the surface this is the surface we want to transfer our data normals from and we're going to transfer it to this one you can see already we've got some pretty bad artifacting going on if I go into my mat cap here we we'll see that it's 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 kind of ridiculous so let's go back here and let's figure out what we're going to do so the first thing apply these modifiers uh, one by one from the top down which is we always want to apply them from the top down so here we have it I'm gonna do this and delete this. If we tab into our mesh, you know, we'll see that we've got the whole thing here. So I turn off perspective and I'm gonna use a knife tool. And with the knife tool, I'll hit the K and then I'll hit Z to cut completely through. I'll hit C, the C, C key, to make sure that I'm uh, constrained. And then I hit enter and I've set it up. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna to wanna to symmetrize this. So I'll use the W menu, go into symmetrize, uh, plus Y to minus Y, tab to tab out of it and tab back in, you can see that we have it symmetrized correctly. So now, next thing I wanna do is I wanna identify the polygons that I wanna transfer the normal data from. So remember that we have in this layer three, we have all of these, these polys here that we wanna transfer the normal data from. So let's go back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back into the first layer and tab into that. Let's just grab the faces and I'm gonna just, select these individual faces here and I'll go over here and I'm going to select vertex group I'm going to create a group I'm going to assign that so I can deselect it select it so I've got this group name group that I've created now that this is done let's remove these and then let's I don't need these up here I just need the ones directly around that and assign those and then we can select them deselect select deselect okay so we know that we've got them so now I'm going to basically go out and hit the tab key at this point and you'll see that we still have our artifacting, but I'm gonna use now a new modifier on this cube, and this is called the data transfer modifier. And if you recall, our other cube is cube 001, so I'll select that here. I'm gonna go down and say face corner data, custom normals, projected face interpolated. So you can see that we've got something that looks kind of bizarre at this point. But I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna choose my group and once I've done that, things start snapping to fairly well. Still have some shading artifacts, and if you notice around these corners, it's, it's not working out. And that's what I want to explain, is that when I get in here, that anything that's touching an edge, any one of these edges that is touching an edge that changes direction, like here, we're going to get a, a, a bit of a funky normal there. So we need, to, we need to kind of go into that and fix that, and I'm going to show you how we do that right now. So let's go into edge mode. Let's select... Uh, here I'm gonna use the control key go to here go to here go to here and let's see if I can go, go to here so I've got that whole I've got the whole edge selected now and I'm gonna do control B and I'm gonna give a tiny little bevel doesn't have to be very big and then now I'm gonna go into my face mode and go back into my vertex group and I'm gonna select select it and remove okay so I'm gonna I want to remove so now if I select and there's gonna be nothing in the face mode so now let's just create a whole new group this group so this is our new 
vertex group we assign that let's tab back out and now you can see it's perfect it's perfect let's go into a, uh, alt v let's go to a mat cap and we can see that we have it perfectly if we want to actually tweak it even a little bit better there's something else we can do here and that is we can go into the, our, our original cube here normal and if I want to um, I can come in here to this particular modifier and I'm going to jack it up to 20 so I can get that and I can tab into this cube and control R and jack this up say to about 20 so now we have quite a bit more geometry on, on this object and if I go back into here we'll see it's it's going to actually get even smoother let's go back into our mat cap we can see looks really good so I hope you that uh, this was exciting for you it was very exciting for me to learn this uh, and, and figure this out and I'm hoping this can help uh, any of you people using kit ops or just boolean modifiers to uh, figure out how to go ahead and and cut those inserts thanks for watching talk to you later bye